In today's tutorial, we're learning how to copy objects in PowerPoint in an intermediate, beginner and advanced way that will speed up your working process by a lot. Let's start with the first one, which is the beginner level of copying. And this one is the most commonly used. And the first one we'll look at is selecting the object and using Ctrl C, Ctrl V to create a duplicate and then positioning it right. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V, you do it every time. And then you can use these guides to assist you and to have them equally spaced. This is not a bad solution, but it is a beginner way of doing it and pretty time consuming. Now there's a second option, which is the intermediate option, and that is holding control and shift and creating a copy. Now you can do this also on a Mac if you hold the option shift key and then you can easily drag and create copies without using any shortcuts. So you can easily click and drag to create a copy. Now moving on to the third version, which is the advanced version. And that is if you select the object, press control D, drag that one into place and then press Ctrl D three more times to create exact copies with the perfect space intervals. And this, of course, goes quite fast. We'll have a look at how we can easily create this bullet point list using that shortcut. So let's say we create only one. So we have three different objects. We have a title, we have a subtitle or a text box, and then we have the number in a square. Let's say we want to do this. We can easily group it together, press Ctrl D to create a copy, space it nicely, and then press Ctrl D a few more times to space it evenly on the slide. And then we can use that intermediate version, hold Ctrl Shift to create a duplicate on the slide. And then it's only a matter of changing the numbers to create a nice looking slide. And that saves you a lot of time in the process. So you don't have to Ctrl C and align everything perfectly. You can use those shortcuts to make your life a whole lot easier. Now this especially comes in nicely if you work on large templates and you have to copy a lot of objects a lot of times on the slides. So if you want to make repeating icons or styles, you can easily create one and then use that master shortcut, that Ctrl D and dragging to create the duplicates and easily fill in your slide. Now if you like this style of template, you can always purchase it via the link in the description and below. Thanks a lot for watching and if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please watch the video on the screen right now.